Howdy, caddies. How you going? Hope you're good. Been busy again at the collector. Weekly walkabout time. More cool stuff. Nice little nine carat gold ladies ring with a lovely synthetic red uh, ruby in it. Really nice little, that little skinny box there is a lovely little set of Georgian uh, guinea scales. There's some uh, uh, Coles Melbourne Olympics sop cards over the back. Some really nice silver and other sort of stick pins and hat pins. Collection of Australian coins. You got, these are pretty cool. These are all sort of backstage passes, sort of stage hand passes for ACDC concerts. And then you got some there for Stray Cats. And I reckon you got ones up there for Run DMC and Beastie Boys. Nice little sort of burr walnut cigarette case. There's some nice little bits in the jewelry cabinet. This is cool, little ESA. Uh, aluminium little mid-century modern student desk. You go, just needs a little bit of a tidy up. One of these little hinges, I think, is a little bit damaged, unfortunately. That needs a little bit of work to clean that up, but I think it's clean upable. This is pretty cool. It's got the brand on the front. This is pretty cool as well. A big sort of twin student desk. Looks to be made of silky oak, we think. There's no chewing gum or not much graffiti or anything underneath it. Billy was here. Billy was here. <laughs> well, that's just a rip of that. There's all the sort of silky oak on the side there. Just needs a bit of a tidy up. Nice little paint pine washstand. Little Victorian chair with a nice little copper kettle. A couple of enameled light shades. These are pretty cool. Little freestanding sort of signboards from Parliament House. What else? We've got some cool old videos and cassettes and CDs, Regurgitator, Frenzel Rom, Chili Peppers, Rage Against the Machine, some cool videos, Deer Hunter, Dark Crystal, Waterboy, <laughs> some cycling jerseys, this little wool knit one's pretty cool, magazines and stuff. Guns N' Roses Australian Tour Special Magazine from 1993. Paintings, the Gay Bottom Watercolours, nice. This little Les Young Oils, really nice in front. A couple of other watercolours and oils to go with them. That's a nice little lot. Planet Lamp and some sort of gig posters. Cast iron doorstops, reproduction. These are nice, the retro sort of enamelled cookware, all heavy, cast again. Some more lights, cool little sort of deco lamp, goes with the two ceiling shades. Some records and a nice little sort of modern stereo system, record player, CD, radio cassette. Yeah, so we got more cool records and videos and cassettes and stuff. Michael Jackson, nice little sort of chippy style chair with a little sort of brass, heavy brass shoe rack or shoe stand. Scooters are rippers, both in great original condition. Give or take, you know. Some more coins. These are all sort of sewing implements, crafty items, watches, a lot of oriental gear, cool little cage. What else have we got? Group lots of pictures. These are all nice sort of Victorian ones. Pears print, chromolitho. Nice pair of old sort of Belgian engravings or something as well. Another big group lot of pictures and prints and paintings. Two big boxes of records, audio gear, stacking chairs. This is a cool lot. All old bottles and crates. Alpine soft drinks. This is an old ammo crate or something. Cool little lot of sort of bins and tins and buckets. Magazines, all sort of modern kids' toys. Aunt Solo. There you go. Black Lagoon, little Japanese anime cartoon stuff, Ninja Turtle stuff, Ronda Rousey. What else have we got? More cool toys, Millennium Falcon and Ninja Turtle stuff. This is great little reclining sort of cane chair. It's in pretty good condition, actually quite comfortable. Big witch's hat or a gramophone horn, stencil cutting machine. That's pretty cool as well, actually. The nice big sort of plate, plate rack over mantle. 
Cool 16 mil projector. I like the little soft toy hippo in the little cot with a nice little sort of kids push along stroller. It's cool with the hand sort of pinstriping and little hand painted flowers. Nice pair of club armchairs. Really good condition, really nicely upholstered. Tasteful sort of modern upholstery. Some nice old deco clubs. Here's a little ripper, little Douglas Snelling style. Little chair we think is Australian made after a Douglas Snelling one, contemporary of. Great little thing. Planet lamp, nice sort of unusual red leather Chesterfield tub chair. Here's a ripper as well. And else we've got some nice paintings and prints and stuff this week. Big Robbie Desvort, big modernist oil painting of sails. And else we've got Janet Green. She paints really nice still lives. There's a few of hers in tomorrow night sail. Kind of like this little naive oil. Lorna Goulden, just like how colourful and sort of simple and stuff it is. What else have we got? Got a big Mambo print. Starving wolves at the gates of civilization. Got a nice little Mary Talbot watercolour here as well, sort of portraits. Some more nice still lifes, another nice Janet Green and a Molly Lynch. Yeah, some nice paintings in the sale tomorrow night, guys. What else have we got? Crystal. English jugs, Batman cars, a really nice set of sort of deco kitchen canisters, good lot of records, clocks, more records, more records. This is a big bloody copper fire extinguisher. These are nice, these some old framed etchings and nice old sort of World War One photographs and stuff. Foot rot flats and other strip comic books, more records, some brassware. Little pedigree doll. You're giving a bit of a wink. Cool little lot of prints, engravings, and art deco. These are Ace the Roller Skates. Another good mix lot of records. Some good stuff in amongst here. Heaps of singles, EPs, and LPs. Another nice lot of cut crystal. Some Aboriginal paintings. This little one in the front's kind of cool. It's got all the details in the back. Judy Okai. There you go. Tells you what you're looking at. Thing. Good little group. Some washboards, sort of kitcheny stuff, a shell and a sundial. Another good lot of records. Nice big light shade. These are cool little sort of land sales release posters. Broadmeadow Station Garden Suburb and stuff like that. Big mixed lot of ceramics, Limoges and other gear in amongst. Royal Albert, Crystal Clocks, English China, English China. Uh, so we got it's a cool little lot, a little MN sort of box there with the MN on the lid. Might be for Main Nicholas or something. And some military buttons and things like that as well. Good lot of camera gear. I think you've got a, a pack set and then a super pack set. And with some spare lenses and stuff. Binoculars. A little lot of sort of TV related toys and stuff. Some more good records or singles. There you go, Beatles single there, and a couple of magazines as well, Australian tour souvenir album, some double A or triple A car badges, a dancing Coke can, a couple of box uh, sort of remote control cars, Jamie Wincup's Zomador Racer, a couple of U2 albums, a lot of sort of TAA and other ephemera, it's a cool ashtray made by Elisha, cufflinks, and there's some other good stuff in there. What else have we got going on? We've got more, good lot of comics, Australian federal comics. These ones I think are all Murray comics. Another nice lot of boxed crystal. Big lot of Hummel and sort of Dalton and Edinburgh crystal. Australian pottery. These are more gig passes and stuff like that. Nice little collection of brassware and things. This is all American sort of rock gig passes, bad company guest pass, and there's all sorts of stuff. Leonard Skinner and stuff like that in there. I've got all the details on the back of them all. They haven't been used. Little group with the Clarice Cliff and the Crinoline Lady. Some more good Australian records. Who do gurus? Uh, Midnight Oil. These are all REM. After Show Pass. Pageantry to a US 86. A couple of cool little bits of 1930s, a little tie press with a little woofer dog. Two box sets of four Macasa wine glasses. Nice little bit here of Nell Sterling Australian pottery. You don't see her stuff around very much. 
all good quality crystal, nice bits of modern spode, some nice Chapara style figures, nice big calico blue and white set, barometer, another lovely big crystal vase, collection of Baxter prints, nice little Edwardian figure, a couple of bits of mid-century, a couple of nice hand-painted Japanese cabinet plates, another, another nice lot of three big cut, heavy cut crystal decanters, these are pretty cool. These are all, once again, gig passes, Stone Temple Pilots and Soundgarden. Um, some nice comic books. Murray Adventure Comic number one. There you go. And there's another one as well with a pretty early number on it. The Hulk. I think that's number one federal comic. So these are Australian comics. A little pottery dish, Alice, but it's not marked. The nice bits of glass. A couple of nice little irons. This little one's a ripper with a little lift up sort of back section. A little sort of heat block inside it or something. More passes. Audio slave. Someone else that have just forgotten. Sort of more sort of rock heavy metal. This is pretty cool. The new race 45 single. Australian sort of early punk sort of surf rock. They made up from a band called Radio Birdman. That's a little Radio Birdman symbol in the middle. Got a tear in the cover, you can see, but it has got the original six-fold poster inside. Now, what else have we got? Nice little clock. Nice little bit of Dalton with the kookaburra. She's nice, the Dalton figure. A couple of Bing and Grundle birds. Nice World War I shrill, uh, trench art shells. They've got details around, something that looks like some writing and decoration around the top of them. Nice bit of Australian glass. I've forgotten who made it, though. Another nice bit of Australian pottery with a big frill neck lizard. Linda Bradley, I think, did that. Little Vickers Viscount ashtray, which is an absolute ripper. Spidey Marvel Comics, Spidey Super Stories number 53. It's in pretty damn good nick. And this thing's a ripper, the big sort of cast metal. Uh, another big desk model, again, of a Vickers Viscount, but with all the TAA. Now, it looks to be hand-painted. I uh, couldn't find another example of this. It's got the little plaque on the front of the stand. It's just in great condition. I think there's going to be too many of them floating around. He's a ripper. Anyway, guys, that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't know. See you on Thursday night.